Hello friends, so the good news is I got a camera that will no longer overheat and it came with a microphone, but the bad news is I did not plug in said microphone all the way into the back of the camera and so my footage was silent. It's no big deal though because this video took a couple hours to film and so there was a lot of rambling and I'm pretty sure a voiceover will cut back on some of that rambling. Also, voiceovers let me zoom in on my dog, who is much cuter than me and is being super adorable in this shot because she was listening to me talk, which is pretty cute. Anyway, so this video is basically me trying on a bunch of weird things that peel off of your body, which sounds really weird. But I'm starting with this foot mask thing called Baby Foot that I got off of Amazon after reading about it somewhere in the depths of the internet. And basically, you put this on for two hours and over the course of a week to two weeks, your skin basically just molts off of you. It's pretty disgusting. Go to Amazon and look at the customer reviews at your own risk. Also, I made a blog post detailing the rest of this journey because I did not want to film clips every day for a week of my feet being disgusting. So if you'd like to read about my feet peeling and see all the beautiful pictures, then I will link my blog post down below and you are welcome to go there. In this video, I'm just putting it on so you can kind of see what comes in the box and how the product works. Inside the package, you have these two plastic booty type things and they are filled with the goopy product. And so you cut these open and put them over your feet and it comes with adhesive tape to help keep them on. Um, I cut out the footage of this, but I had a very hard time putting this on and I put big fluffy socks over these booties which they do recommend on the box and that kept them on for the hour that you're supposed to leave them on. Also can we just talk about how my dog walked away and came back with a stick? She is so freaking cute. That's her little shoe stick. But yes, basically the next couple clips you're gonna see me struggle with camera angles because obviously sticking your feet up into the camera is so much better than moving the camera to look at your feet. So I slipped these bad boys on, put my fluffy socks over the top, and I kept them on while I filmed the rest of this video. Again, if you want to see how the rest of this process worked out, go ahead and look for my blog post down below. While my feet were soaking up in some baby foot, I moved on to my next product, and I found this animal otter face mask at Ulta. They had a few different kinds of animals, but I chose the otter, and this was the product I was most excited about for this video because it makes your face look like an otter. Yeah, girl, you read those instructions. So I took the mask out and promptly let it drip over my lap. And then I opened it up and giggled for about a minute at how it was supposed to make me look like an otter. And I just slapped it right on my face. You'll see, though, that I'm a little disappointed by it because I was hoping I would look more strongly like an otter. I'm not sure what exactly I was looking for, like face paint maybe, but anyway, I'm spent a little time putting this on, but then I realized I probably had it on the wrong way, so I peeled it off and put it back on the other way, and it was a little bit stronger on that side, uh, but I was still not thrilled. Still though, this is the most fun face mask I've probably had on my face ever, because it's kind of a cute idea. And you can see I'm already struggling with the upper lip portion there. That was the one downside of this mask. Anyway, it seemed like a good time to check up on my dog and disturb her from her sleep. And walking over in those baby feet masks was pretty funny. And I just wanted to see if my dog would at all react. And she really did not care. So I put her back in bed. I struggled with that upper lip part one more time. And then I kept the mask on for 10 minutes. Now you can see that top portion completely just fell into my mouth. And for some reason I kept talking, and so you can see how that went for me. I was pretty excited to peel off the mask at that point. It felt really cooling and hydrating on my face, which was really cool. And I just peeled it right off and rubbed the product into my skin. The two makeup products that I talk about in this video are an eyebrow product and a lip product. And these are both the kinds of products where you paint them on really thick, wait a certain amount of time and then peel them off and you're supposed to have makeup on afterwards so I thought I would try that out. I got these products from my sister. I'm not sure where she heard about them or why she had them but she said the eyebrow product came off too gray on her and for some reason I decided that sounded like something that would look nice on me. And it started off really well when I pulled the top off and it was all stringy and gross looking but again I just decided that would look fine on me. 
So I zoomed in the camera here, and you can see me painting this stuff on, and it goes on like black. Uh, and I also should have probably used an angled brush for this in hindsight. I thought I would just use the little brush that came in the container, but I don't think that works so well for me. I tried to not shy away from using a lot of product because I know that is how these work. If you don't put a thick enough layer on, it won't peel off properly. Uh, but the contrast between my two eyebrows is pretty funny halfway through. And I guess I decided I needed more product on. I'm not quite sure what I was thinking here, but I just kept laying it on. It got a bit messy, but eventually I realized I had some Q-tips nearby, and those actually were really useful. So if you're using a product like this, I recommend having some clean Q-tips on hand. Uh, but I did realize the shapes of my two eyebrows were really different, so I kept trying to go back in with a Q-tip to clean it up a little and make them match a little more. And I kept going in with more product because obviously that was a good idea. And I went in with the Q-tip again. Basically, I just obsessed over this because I was really worried it would stain my skin and look horrible. But I mean, zoomed out, look at that beautiful eyebrow job. I mean, how could that look horrible? But I'm just going to power on through. I'm pulling out the lip products I got that my sister gave me. These products came in a pack of, I think she said, four. I decided to just go with red because obviously I could only show you one in this video. And I had to point out here that the front of the package says oops on it, and I'm not sure if that's a bad translation or what, but I found that hilarious. Once again, I am not worried about putting on too much product with this. I am just laying it on super thick. It's all jelly and kind of gross looking. And there's my look of pure terror as I realize it's burning my face. This thing burned so bad and so I thought, oh, I probably just put too much on. So rather than take it off immediately, I use my finger to rub some of the excess from my bottom lip onto my top lip. And that didn't work out so well for me because one, now my upper and bottom lips were burning. And two, my finger was stained bright orange red because um, if it stains your lips, it probably stains your finger. So I spend the next maybe two minutes of this footage just describing the burning sensation and horror of this product. So once again, with the benefits of a voiceover, I can skip all that for you and just hope that you'll trust me in that it was awful. Over the few minutes I was letting it dry, I just kind of left my mouth hanging open and I did eventually close my lips and it started to peel, so I thought, thank god this must be ready to peel off. You know, I thought it was going to look more satisfying than it does on camera, but it just looks kind of gross. And then of course I hold it up for you as if you really want to see that. The bottom lip had a little more trouble peeling off, and I think because I used such a thick layer and didn't let it dry completely. Anyway, I had to go in with a tissue and wipe up as much as I could because it was not quite coming off. But you can see the stain on my lips does not look very good. It's kind of uneven and patchy. And it just looks kind of like I rubbed my lips too much. Like, I don't even know if my lips are that red because of the color or because it burned so much. A little while later, it had been one hour since putting on the baby foot booties. So I went into the bathroom and I very carefully took off my big fluffy socks. So they say to just take off the booties and then rinse your feet and wash them with soap and water. Again, check out my blog post and there's a little preview of how beautiful my feet looked at the end of the week. Overall though, I was super satisfied with this and I totally recommend it. Now finally, it's the moment of truth with my eyebrows. Those had to be on for two hours, which is kind of shocking because the whole point of these products, I thought, was that you would put them on, do the rest of your makeup, and then immediately be able to peel them off. It even says on the only instructions I was able to find online that it's recommended that you keep this stuff on your eyebrows all night. Uh, which I wasn't about to do because I was very scared already at how it was going to look. And you can see when it dried, it was like shiny on my eyebrows, which was a little scary. But that's fine. I was just going to peel it off anyway. So I 
started peeling this off and it really wasn't coming off in one easy motion. And I was actually pretty terrified that I would pull out all my eyebrow hairs when I pulled this stuff off. I know this is supposed to stain my skin and everything, but I was not about to live that life of tattooed on eyebrows. The first eyebrow you can see is looking way darker on the bottom than the top, and that's partially because of the way my eyebrows naturally are, but it's a little more dramatic than usual. So I peeled off the other side to see how they would compare and they both kind of looked not the best, a little uneven. So I'm just taking it all in there for a second and taking a look at my face and you can tell my lips really, again, don't look like I'm wearing lipstick or really any lip product more than like a sheer lip balm and honestly I would much rather just wear a sheer lip balm, this stuff was pure torture. I had the idea to fill in my eyebrows over where I had just stained my skin, hoping that it might look a little more natural or maybe at least make putting my eyebrow pencil on a bit easier. I was able to zoom in a little and show you the contrast there. It definitely looks better with the pencil, so this really didn't erase my need for an eyebrow pencil, which I think was kind of the point of the product. So I decided to try and take the stain off. I wanted to see how easily it would be removed. The website for this product says that you should avoid washing your face or using makeup wipes on the area, which is kind of impossible, but that's beside the point. So I scrubbed really hard with this makeup wipe and I was able to remove some of that stain, but not enough of it, I think, because I was not totally satisfied with the way I applied it. It was not a very smooth straight line on the top. Again, I really should have used an angled brush, but what are you going to do? So that's all the products I tried on for this video and I looked really beautiful doing it. And another benefit of using a voiceover is I can have you look at my dog during my outro. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, got a laugh out of it. And uh, if you're looking for me, you can find me at any of the social media handles you'll see on the end screen or down below in the info box. Or as always, you can find me at brokeforbeauty.com. Thanks again for watching. Look for the blog post about the baby foot extravaganza. And I will see you guys on my next video. And don't worry, I learned how to use my microphone. See ya.